Our top story, a United Nations report that Reuters News saw on Monday says the Ugandan army has provided support to the M23 rebel group operating in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. For analysis, I spoke with Edward Ruema of VOA's Central Africa Service. This was uh, divulged uh, during uh, a recent uh, hearing at the UN Security Council where the UN representative in the DRC accused Uganda, uh, Ugandan army of uh, providing uh, intelligence to M23. M23 is uh, a rebel group uh, that is fighting uh, the DRC government uh, in Eastern Congo uh, since uh, Last year, this group has been able to capture so many towns and uh, many are fearful that uh, it might also capture one of the uh, largest cities uh, in North Kivu, which is Goma. So uh, their fears that uh, this continued support continues to escalate uh, the ongoing insecurity in Eastern Congo. So uh, this report was filed by the UN group of, of experts and it has uh, accused Uganda and uh, Rwanda of uh, providing uh, military and intelligence support to M23. But the deputy spokesman for Uganda's armed forces uh, has said uh, and he told Reuters that the report falsely accuses Uganda. Well, uh, we haven't uh, read in detail what is uh, in that report and the kind of evidence that uh, the report uh, has. But we know, uh, according to the deputy military spokesperson, uh, of course, it is public knowledge that uh, Uganda has been working with the DRC army to fight ADF. ADF is a rebel group uh, that is aligned to uh, the Islamic State that is based in uh, Ituri province. Uh, so Uganda thinks uh, it's been been working closely with, uh, with with the DRC to fight those rebels and uh, uh, I believe uh, if uh, the deputy spokesperson says that uh, it, it, it would be uh, double standards for us to be engaged with the government and at the same time uh, fighting the rebel group but again uh, we would leave it to the evidence that the UN has collected uh, to see whether uh, what the government of Uganda is saying is true or what the UN uh, uh, group of experts are saying is true. And lastly, Ed, uh, the UN has long accused Rwanda of backing the M23, uh, but Rwanda denies those allegations. Uh, that's another story, Rwanda. Yes, it is uh, another story. And uh, for so many years uh, since uh, M23 started fighting back in 2012, Rwanda has always been accused of providing military support and even providing forces to, to, to fight alongside uh, uh, M23. But again, uh, officially, Rwanda has never acknowledged uh, having forces uh, in, uh, uh, in DRC supporting M23. But at the same time, uh, Rwanda says uh, it is always going to defend itself when it comes to uh, its sovereignty because it also accuses uh, the DRC government of uh, supporting and providing military support to FDLR. FDLR is uh, a remnant uh, of genociders or, or a rebel group that is based in Congo uh, that is fighting Kigali government. Speaking with me, that was Edward Ruema of VOA Central Africa Service. The Chief of Defense Forces, General Mohozi Kainerugawa, who is also the Senior Presidential Advisor for Special Operations, has this Wednesday met with the Chinese Ambassador to Uganda, Zhang Liz Hong. The meeting took place at the Special Forces Headquarters in Entebbe. The Wednesday afternoon meeting was a routine review of ongoing projects in the defense and security sector, said the Office of the CDF in a media brief sent to this meeting follows a previous one held at the Chinese embassy in November last year and comes on the heels of General Kainerugawa's recent meeting with a delegation from China North Industries Group Corporation Limited, Monico, the statement added. During the recent meeting, both sides reflected on their 38-long strategic relationship, which began in 1986. General Mohozi also congratulated Noriko on its position as the largest aerospace and defense company in the world, with an annual revenue exceeding $82 billion. The Chinese delegation today extended an invitation to the Ugandan general to visit China, his last visit being 14 years ago.
Nolikor is the parent company of Choga Dynamics Limited in Nakasongola district that manufactures explosives used in mining, road construction, and building dams, among others. In 2023, the company also set up a comprehensive unmanned aerial vehicle workshop in Nakasongola district. The workshop is dedicated to the final assembly, testing, maintenance, and training of UAVs. Over the past six years, the China-Uganda economic and trade relations have made significant progress. In 2019, the relationship between Uganda and China was upgraded to the level of comprehensive cooperation partnership with the Joint Commission on Trade, Economic, Investment and Technical Cooperation as a bilateral framework of economic cooperation.